Hey guys, welcome to my video on money. Here's what we're going to do. It's going to be short. I'm just going to say, what is money? I'm going to take it from an economist's perspective. Money can be anything, and money is the most liquid of assets. It's immediately tradable without losing its value. And that's not very specific. I want more. What we're actually going to find out as we learn in this class is that economists see money as having three primary purposes. One, it is a means of a payment or a medium of exchange. It is something that we're all willing to trade with each other. Two, it is a store of value or purchasing power. I can leave it in my pocket overnight and it retains its value. Three, it is a unit of account, which means it helps us to measure how much of something there is. This can apply to a lot more than just dollars. Uh, but let me explain a little bit of why we like money. One, a means of payment. This facilitates economic transactions. For instance, if I were a dairy farmer and I wanted to hire an accountant to do my taxes, if we didn't have money, I would have to find some way to convince this accountant to trade some milk for accounting services. And if the accountant is not interested in getting milk, but I still need to hire an accountant, I got to find a way to trade my milk for something else, for something else, for something else. It makes it really hard without money. But money gives us something common so that you and I can help each other and we will both be happy. Look how happy they are because they got to trade with money instead of with milk. Yay! Uh, a store of value. What does that mean? Well, that means that money is supposed to hold its value over time. So if I were a dairy farmer and I was using milk for my money, uh, guys, guess what? Milk doesn't store its value very long. You leave it in the fridge for a few days and it starts to lose value. If money doesn't store value, it stops being money. Which, by the way, as a side note, one thing we're worried about with money is inflation. If inflation is low, low enough, it's not really that big a deal. But if it's high enough and your money no longer stores value, that can break a monetary system. And what do I mean by unit of account? By unit of account, I just mean we have a common measurement. I don't have to measure things like, hey, this is worth four gallons of milk to me. And you're like, well, I don't know, man, this is worth half a tax return to me. That would get really confusing if we all measured that way. But if we said, this is worth $7 to me, or $70, or $700, as soon as I put it in a currency, in a money, we both know exactly what we're talking about. It puts us in a common framework for accounting for value. As long as money satisfies these, it's money. It does not have to be cash. Bitcoin, in certain circles, is money. Gold can be money. There are some places where stone wheels have been used as money. There are some places where beads and jewelry, like it just depends. But as long as it satisfies these features, well, then we call it money and it helps facilitate a good economy. Hope that was helpful, guys. If not, too bad, but thanks for watching anyway. See y'all later.